It's me, Katie. Welcome back to Silver Spotlight. For this week's video, I am going to be dressing in different aesthetics. I know this was popular like over a year ago at this point, but I just felt like getting out of my comfort zone and this felt like a good way to go about it. So let me know what aesthetics you guys are loving and maybe I can feature some of them in a part two if you're interested. Before we get into the looks though, I want to give a big thank you to today's video sponsor, which is Karma. Karma is an easy and free to download app and Chrome extension that ensures you never miss a price drop or coupon code, aka your best friend while online shopping. And if you're thinking, wait a second, that sounds familiar, it's because it does. I have been using this service for a very long time, but they have just recently changed their name. So formerly Shop Tagger, now Karma. Their new name is very fitting and represents the good karma they provide by helping you shop smart. Definitely what they've done for me over the years, I no longer have that impulse shopping issue so i'm actually purchasing clothes that i know i'm gonna get a ton of wear out of not to mention saving me some coin my best deal still would have to be the 30 percent off discount i was graced with when purchasing my stray kids inspired converse i'm never gonna get over that one you can try it too via the link in the description box whenever you're shopping on some of your favorite stores and see something you like you click their cute little button and add it to your designated list you can then be notified via email or push notifications whenever any of those items come back in stock go on sale or have a relevant coupon code you can manage all your items in whatever wish list you prefer perhaps separating them by different aesthetics or basics versus trends to really help cut down on that impulse shopping also whenever you're on checkout page on your computer you can click the karma button once again and they will instantly scan the internet for the best available discount code and automatically apply it for you and on top of that they also allow you to earn cash back via paypal whenever you're shopping with select retail partners check it all out for yourself via the link on screen and down below in the description box first theme i want to try and tackle is cottage core and to me this is very Disney princess out in the meadows with her little animal friends. I don't know, there's a lot of maxi length dresses, florals, aprons, corsets, baskets, sun hats, and a lot of just picnic themed goodness in general. This is a really fun one because you can take it as extreme as you want or keep it really wearable for every day. I feel like the hardest part is actually just gonna be finding a location to take the photos because unless you own a cottage, what are you really supposed to do? So spoiler alert, probably not gonna nail the brief entirely um, when it comes to that component. For now, the first step is just picking a dress. I have three main options I wanted to choose before I put my makeup on in case I wanna match my eyeshadow to it. Option one. Option two. And option three. I think I'm gonna go with this one. The neckline just feels more cottage core to me for some reason. Plus the lady at the op shop really hyped me up. So I feel like I owe it to her. I tried to keep my makeup quite light, glowy and natural, just adding a pop of purple with the eyeshadow to tie into the flowers in the dress. And then I just wanted some kind of loose, messy curls. Uh, my hair was very oily and difficult to work with, but we did the best we could. I'm starting to feel like a real life Disney princess. So I think that means we're on the right track, hopefully. I've just got some jewelry I wanna put on and then also an apron. I've actually just DIY'd this because the lace wasn't really popping against the dress. So I just put a purple backing to it as well. Do we need an apron? Not necessarily, but my motto for this video is <laughs> His personal motto is, if you're gonna hit it, then hit it till it breaks. No, pretty much just, if you're gonna do it, then let's do it. So I'm trying to go as all in as possible with the resources I have.
Okay, the goal aesthetic today is dark academia, academia, academia. Academia. From what I've seen on Pinterest, it feels very kind of British boarding school, old classic literature sort of vibe. Um, definitely an intellectual, perhaps at the museum, antique shopping, a coffee shop, the library. And the color palette is mostly made up of just neutral tones, which is very different from my usual colorful wardrobe. Seemingly some of the most common essentials are things like turtlenecks, button-ups, blazers, a lot of plaid patterns in varying styles, whether it is shirts, pants, skirts. Oh, a lot of cozy knits too, like sweater vests. In general, it feels like a very autumn-scented aesthetic. I don't really know how you would make it work if you had a really hot climate during summer, but thankfully, Southern Hemisphere baby here, so we are in autumn. So I think we should be able to do it. So the base I've settled on in the end is very simple. I wanted to go for a printed outerwear piece and didn't want the pants to be clashing. So I've got these wide-legged brown suit pant situation going on and just tucked in this turtleneck, which I actually think is really pretty. It's already got the layering details done for you. So it's nice and easy. Um, accessories wise, I've kept it again, very simple, just one gold chain and then some pearl earrings to kind of match the wrist details. Sadly, I don't have the classic black leather belt with a gold buckle. I've just had to steal this out of my boyfriend's wardrobe, um, but I think it should do the trick okay. The oversized blazer is what really ties the look together in my opinion. And one little styling tip I have actually, uh, these little like hair elastics, I just put one on either sleeve and that way you can scrunch up the sleeve and it actually stays in place so you can see the nice little wrist detail. I've got my classic I mean business satchel bag and also some tortoiseshell rimmed glasses. Yes, I have taken the lenses out of them just so the lights don't awkwardly reflect, but I'm gonna slip into my Oxfords, hit up the cafe looking like some sort of intellectual as opposed to my usual eight-year-old dressing self. So I do feel out of my comfort zone with this one, which I feel like is interesting because most people would say this is one of the easiest styles to wear, but for me, I'm like, who is she? We don't know her. and today I think we're feeling the grunge fairycore vibe. Grunge not as in the grunge subculture whatsoever just more as like a descriptive word I guess trying to indicate that it is a less clean-cut version of a fairy. It's almost like more um, cute forest nymph I suppose. Um, just lots of green and brown tones and like you've been out in the elements for a little bit too long. I've already got my outfit picked out, but before we go through the many layers there are, I thought I'd try a bit of a makeup look. I don't have many products and I certainly do not have the skills, but I thought it'd be fun to try and switch it up just a little bit. So let's see what we can do. So I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I don't look crazy, but I feel like that's kind of the point. A lot of the looks I was seeing were just very messy and like, grimy i don't know so just trust the process hopefully once we have the outfit on all will be well i just want to do really messy hair as well it's currently very oily but hopefully we can get to stay in place okay this dress is gonna be our base and i feel like there's not really any explanation needed it just looks like textbook example of fairy core to me especially with this kind of handkerchief hem i don't know this feels like you know you've been out in the woods a little bit too long your dress has gotten a little bit tattered but it only adds to the aesthetic here we're just gonna layer her on up though with a few different textures like lace fishnet leather belt all of which sticking to a very neutral color palette though let's do what's
already got my face on today so yes i've already picked my aesthetic there were two main factors that went into choosing it one it is miserable outside today and two even if it wasn't i don't have a car or anyone to take me out of the house so this little section is what we have to work with today so i figured y2k would be the best option because i can just do it on any background and then play around with some sort of tacky 2000s edit you guys know that has my name written all over it so since the general theme is playing much more in my comfort zone i want to push myself to at least be wearing something low rise which i guess means we're kind of trying to stick more to the original 2000s inspirations rather than the reimagined trend that we've seen over the last couple of years i feel like they're two very distinctly different styles and even then within the y2k trends there's obviously a lot of different avenues you can go down i have this top i really want to wear though so we'll probably be going more for the simple life the house bunny that sort of styling so this is the base outfit definitely aiming for promo shoot for the simple life I will say I don't quite have the boob job necessary to fill out this top correctly, but um, I will just have to keep awkwardly playing around with that. <laughs> the first and only real step I'm taking to accessorize this look is just to bedazzle it a little. I know you're probably thinking, Katie, or when are you going to do something about your hair? Um, I'm not. I'm simply just going to cover it up with a cowboy hat. A pink sequin cowboy hat at that. We really didn't even use that many accessories and I feel like somehow we've completely transformed the look into the right direction. That's hot. That's hot. I don't know. You know what? This is probably more a Nicole Richie look anyway, so let's just... Yeah. <laughs> Forget that happened, please. I feel like the Simple Life shoots were very, like, just stand there. I'm over it, you know? But I'm terrible at posing. It's, like, my least favorite thing. So I'm going to get changed into something a bit more comfortable. And then I'll show you how I like to edit um, these sort of photos. Thank God I got changed because these two guys from Pest Control just showed up, which I had no idea that they were coming and we're here for like 20 minutes. And I felt so uncomfortable, but imagine how much more uncomfortable I would have felt if I was still in that outfit. Like, the first thing I do is just go through the photos and favorite which ones I think might be workable. And then from there, there's three main apps I use to do my edits. The first is just going into Lightroom to fix up the color correction. I don't really have go-to settings. I just play around with it because I feel like it's kind of different depending on the vibe of that particular photo. For this one, I'll definitely want to lighten up the shadows and try and counteract the yellow tones as well. And once I'm happy enough, with that, I move on to PixArt, so I choose one base photo to start with, and from there, you can pretty much do whatever the hell you want on this app. You can layer a bunch of different photos, cute little stickers and add-ons, like, you guys know I take it too far nine times out of ten. Before we get into that, though, I just want to see if I can brush out some of the wrinkles in this background sheet. I did try to iron it, but it is tricky material to work with. Okay, she is looking a little bit better. I'm now gonna go into stickers and hopefully they have the Simple Life logo. If not, we'll just have to download it from Google and erase the background ourselves. But if they have it, it'll definitely save some time. Then I'll just play around with the size, the placement, see what we're feeling. I kind of like it at the top, but obviously it cuts off like half my head and all of my hat, so. What I'm going to do is go into the eraser tool and then simply color over the parts that I do not want to be seen. If you go a little bit too far, that's fine. Just switch over to the restore brush instead and fix it up. Ooh, okay, yeah, actually, I think that looks really good. Um, the only problem is, don't really know where we go from there because... I'll just see what it looks like if we layer on a couple of other photos maybe. I'd love to get a shot where I have the sunglasses on at least. Mm, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. This is where being indecisive is really going to set you back some time, my friends. Okay, I'm just going to jump in here because apparently I couldn't explain it whilst I was going. Also, just... Please forgive my bad posture in terrible side profile, but pretty much all I do is search for different stickers that I think fit the theme. So things like Y2K, Pink, Sparkles, Playboy, and then just play around. This is definitely a trial and error process with just seeing what positioning works best. 
Once I think I've got that at a passable standard, I move on to another app, which is called Prequel. They have a bunch of quite trendy filters, I would say. So usually I just play around with a few different ones. I find that putting a filter over the top kind of helps um, make the image look a little bit more cohesive and like it is one flat image rather than a bunch of different layers. Once I've saved a few options, I usually come back an hour or so later with fresh eyes and make my final decision. And I gotta say, pretty happy with how this one turned out. Okay, so I felt like the main thing we were missing was something a little bit darker that falls under that alternative umbrella. And I know mostly people like to take inspiration from e-girl for this sort of thing, but I feel like that is too similar to my own personal style, very like Misa Amane inspired, I suppose. And we're trying to push ourselves a little bit further outside our comfort zone. So along the same lines, I just wanted to take inspiration from some other J fashion styles that would still fall under that broad alternative umbrella. So I've been looking at shots from Fruits Magazine and Tokyo Street Fashion, as well as searching broad terms like Roko Garu and Goshiko Garu, also kind of punk Lolita even. And often what I get the most results from is Visual K and from my understanding this literally means visual style and isn't actually an aesthetic per se it's more so a genre for bands to identify with if they have a heavy focus on the aesthetics of their art but for some reason searching that particular term will often give you more results especially if you're looking for these sort of clothing pieces on somewhere like depop but yes before we get into choosing an outfit i want to try and do something with my makeup i know that i'm going to be sticking to a red and black color palette so let's see how this plays out okay it is like two hours later and this is the best we could come up with so let's just keep moving i knew i wanted to style these pants i picked them up on depop last year i think it was and i am still obsessed probably my favorite pair i own they also come with this little like half skirt wraparound situation which i am also going to attach and then the top is this red mesh with a black velvety floral pattern to it i had this from my sailor moon inspired lookbook but i think that this is a nice base to start with obviously the key to these sort of outfits though is layering once again i'm using this plain black button up which is almost more workwear inspired but for some reason i just feel like it's gonna work for us today so since it's just for a photo i might just clamp it at the back or maybe we could look at adding a belt yeah i think that cinches us in nicely before we go too far with over accessorizing that I want to add some tights on underneath the pants just because it feels a little bit lopsided being completely covered up top but then having skin down here. I definitely prefer that feeling a little bit more balanced out which is completely hypocritical of me because I'm about to put on just one glove and then I think we just need to layer some more chains. Actually let me sit down and try and sort out this hair situation. We have two potential saviors here um this one you know it's gonna take us a little bit more to the theater darling but i thought it could be a little bit my chemical romance helena music video you know i was thinking let me get the mirror <clears throat> if i kind of section off this part and actually put the headband behind there it might even help us puff up the hair a little bit um yeah or it could do that i cannot tell if this is ridiculous bad or ridiculous good um this is probably the most out of my comfort zone so i'm feeling like it might just be a case of imposter syndrome maybe which means i just have no idea so i'm sure someone will let me know in the comments no doubt
thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed let me know which aesthetics you thought suited me the best for me i think i'm gonna go with fairy grunge and also let me know which ones you might want to see me try in the future before i go i want to give another big thank you to today's video sponsor karma if you're looking for the perfect shopping assistant then make sure you check them out via the links in the description box